And now for another top story on the show, I'm going to show you the world's slimmest phone. Don't you think this is awesome? Looks absolutely amazing. Look at the screen, look at the buttons on it, look at the backside. All awesome, right? But that's because this will eventually become this. The Gioni S5.5 claimed to be the world's thinnest phone at 5.5 mm. This is an engineering marvel because this slab of aluminium moves into this with CNC milling, moves on further with injection molding, till finally the whole process gets completed and you end up with a phone that is this thin. Quite incredible that Gioni is the company that now has the thinnest phone. Now, I'm going to show you this entire thing and we're also going to see LTE, which is becoming the big buzzword for India. Gioni is playing to LTE and 4G and the product they have for India. This product seems to be the result of some serious crash diet and a hardcore fitness regime. That's the only explanation to the size zero figure of this Gioni smartphone. With a waistline of 5.5 millimeters, the Gioni eLife S5.5 is indeed the slimmest phone till date, beating the Oppos and the Huawei's of the smartphone world. Also remarkable is how much serious technology can be packed into a slim chassis. Starting from this single slab of aluminium, the phone goes through a series of processes, layering and casing, eventually resulting in this, the final product. To begin with, the screen is a beauty, packing a 5-inch Full HD display. A very bright display with colors that pop and afford a fine viewing angle. The phone is very light to hold at 130 grams. In fact, in one hand, there is a surreal feel to it, as the size totally doesn't match what you think it should weigh. But the sleek body packs in a beast of a processor. This has a 1.7 GHz octa-core chipset racing in it. The phone runs on the Android Jelly Bean 4.2 OS and is layered with Gioni's self-developed Amigo UI. The UI feels pretty smooth and responsive. In terms of optics, it has a pretty good combination, a 13 megapixel at the back and a 5 megapixel in the front that is coupled with a great standalone camera-like control UI. It has a 2300 mAh battery, 16 GB inbuilt storage with no card slot. While many companies stick to conventional designs, even with the most premium phones, Gioni has taken a big leap in the design and ergonomics department. So as far as the E-series or the E7 and the E6 is concerned and moving ahead with the E8, we're going to be very, very clearly focused on the camera bit. So as far as the E-series concer is concerned, it is purely, purely camera. As far as S is concerned, I think when you talk about enjoying life, you need to talk about some substantial uh, differences that you can bring about in a mobile. So we thought photography is one and style is next. So with the 5.5 at the size that which it is, it offers substantial belief that, you know, Joni offers you yet another differentiator, which is style. So this product is all about the way it is made, the materials that is used, the design, and so on and so forth. We expect this to be priced under 25,000 rupees. While the company seems to be making a big mark in parts of Asia, how about plans to enter Europe and make a worldwide impact? I think it's, that is only the issue of time. I, can, I will not go now. That don't mean I will not go in the future. But for the brand, I think we should go deep. Depth is more important than width. So this is our strategy. Other than this big headline-making phone, Gioni also displayed its new LTE phone. Yes, this phone would support 4G networks, so brace yourself for some solid data speed. It has a 5-inch HD screen with clear viewing angles, a 13-megapixel rear camera and a 5-megapixel front camera on this as well. Decent picture quality of both. It runs on the Jelly Bean OS and is powered by a 1.4 GHz quad-core processor. It will make its way to India in August, while the S5.5 will be launched next month.